House of four to one and five to one. Uh, now chair of the NEC, Leo Brainerd, the only dissenter in, in every one of those votes. The Fed rolled back stronger rules and was responsible for supervising Silicon Bank. Mr. Uh, Vice Chair Barr, did the Fed drop the ball because it didn't see the risk that was building? Uh, thank you, Chairman Brown, uh, for that question. Uh, f fundamentally, the bank failed because its management failed to appropriately address clear interest rate risk and clear liquidity risk. That interest rate risk and liquidity risk was cited, was highlighted by the supervisors of the firm beginning in November of 2021. The, uh, the board and, uh, and sorry, the, the Federal Reserve Bank um, uh, brought forward these uh, problems to the bank and they failed to address them in a timely way. That exposure led the firm to be highly vulnerable to a shock and that shock came uh, on the evening of Wednesday, March 8th when it very belatedly attempted to uh, adjust its liquidity position and uh, reported uh, losses uh, on its available for sale securities. The market reaction to that was quite negative uh, and that eventually on Thursday sparked a depositor run. So uh, some of their practices appear to have violated the basic principles of Banking 101, concentration risk over reliance on uninsured deposits, inadequate liquidity, poor risk management, the list goes on. How poorly managed was, managed was this bank? Uh, supervisors had rated uh, the bank um, at a very low rating. No normally, we would not be describing these matters, uh, confidential matters, but given that the firm failed uh, and triggered a systemic risk uh, uh, determination, uh, I'm prepared to talk about that confidential information, that the firm was rated uh, a three in the Camel scale, which is not well managed. Uh, and at the holding company level, it was rated deficient, uh, which is also uh, clearly not well managed. Hey, thank you. Uh, Chair Grunberg, I heard from many small businesses over that weekend who had money in SVB and were worried about making payroll in Ohio, making payroll as a result of the failure. I heard from Ohio small banks and credit unions worried about deposits uh, leaving their institutions. I know that I'm not unique. Many of my colleagues from both sides of the aisle heard those same concerns in their state. Given the unprecedented scale of the bank run, what would have been the impact on small banks and small businesses across the nation if you and other regulators